Alright. Hi folks, and welcome back to another video. Now, an interesting question had been posted on the uh, Tool Changer Discord asking for the uh, reason behind these wings uh, on the tap and chain mechanism as well as the corresponding slot on the dock and whether if I can just uh, design it to have a bit more tolerant so that, you, so that they can mate with each other with uh, less friction and well the short answer is no the reason why they are there is to act as indexes for the system. I want to clear, but 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 I want to clarify there is they're not there to index the tool during the uh, tool change uh, uh, operation. They are there to actually uh, index these, which are the bar end, and more specifically, is this component here at the back of this uh, these bar end or hook side which is just little spacer that slide in and out of the slot on the uh, bar end they're like so to adjust the height of these uh, dock so that they can meet up with the two head where they are and uh, I figured that the best way to explain it is not to talk about it like I just did but rather to show you how it, this system is actually calibrated uh, in the first place so uh, yeah, that it will be what the rest of this video is going to be about and uh, I hope it helps. Right, the, uh, to calibrate the position of this bar end, uh, first thing that you're going to need to do is to actually home and quad gantry level your system. So if you see now, it, my current system is engaged, is home and is uh, trampled. Then what you need to do is what you did uh, you're seeing here that is to remove all the two head of the system uh, except for T0 and well the, the reason is simply because uh, you don't want all that weight to manage when you're doing this. And lastly is to push these uh, spacer all the way to the bottom as far as they can go as you can see here and uh, lightly tighten them as I already had done here. Oh, and I forgot that uh, you will also need to have T0 and T3 or whichever tool head that you have on the further side of your tool changer to uh, be loose. So as you can see here, it can spin around and on the round bar that uh, that is mounted to fire and I can tie loosen them using these two bolts on the bottom here. And with that, you should be able to have everything to start. So now on your console, you want to nudge the system in the X direction into the location of where the dock, the dock should be. And for my position system, T0 is supposed to be on 14.5 uh, millimeter X, which is where it is. Next, you actually want to tilt this down a bit just to get it ready to receive the two head. And now what you what left to do is to just nudge it uh, 10 millimeter up at a time until it touched the dock. And you can see that it moved there. So here you want to wiggle it a little bit so that the dock can uh, is at the right angle with the two head. You just want to push them in a little bit at a time. And what you can see now is that this dock is slightly slanted downward. And that's not good. Uh, in the perfect world, this, these dock and two head need to stand upright. So if you slide, if it's sliding uh, slanted downward, what that means is that your docking bar, dock bar is too high. So what you're going to do now is that you loosen up the screw on both sides. Just a little bit and funny enough you just nudge it in the not another a bit more on the y axis it will should stop pushing itself into place hey that's right but don't like rely on it though it can sometimes go too far There we go 
and at around y equal 20 or so the the two heads should be sitting all the way into its top like so and if you notice i can no longer move the dog up and down on, the, on that side and that is because the uh, two head is actually still perfectly mounted to the uh, gantry so the two head is now acting like a pin to uh, that hold everything in place and if we go to the side you can see that the indexing uh, system is there as well and that is also play a part in keeping this whole thing not moving and with this what you're gonna do now is just to lower this making sure that it's touching the um, front idler and making sure to give him a little pressure and then tighten it down so now this dock this side of the dock should be fully calibrated all right at this point you got two options one you can do it the easy way and uh, just measure the distance between the bottom of that spacer and the flat surface on here at the top on this now uh, fully locked down bar end and mirror that distance on this side uh, the other way to do it is well it's not better it's just hot but it's more like real real uh, solution and that is to just do repeat all the steps that i just mentioned on this dock here and well the easy way worked reasonably well so i just did it off camera and uh, the little tip here that i have for you guys is to use a caliper just push the uh, thing in like so and you can go very detailed on this oh there we go 61 6007 is what i got for that size so i'm just mirror i just mirror that on this and well you can just and then you can just tighten the bolt and that should be it oh and just before you tighten this down uh, and test knocking procedure you remember you have now tightened and changed the uh, height of this side so things are a little different from what you had before so it's always good to uh, test by slowly ram this thing in one more time There we are. At that point, there it was roughly about ten millimeter uh, away from the uh, front. So y equal ten. You can now tighten this down. And with that, I do a quick tool change just to make sure that everything works. Beautiful. And voila! Your dog is calibrated.